I am back in Paraguay yet again for the second time in 2023. It is almost 2024 and I've been sick since I've been here ever since Christmas Eve. So I've just been relaxing and honestly not doing too much, but I'm here for a month. So I will have lots of time to meet up with some business partners, some of my contacts here, some friends. It is going to be a really fun trip. It's super hot. It is the end of December and it's been raining a lot. It's definitely the rainy season, but today it's nice. It's super humid, so it's nice when it does rain. Honestly, I think I prefer that weather. <laughs> but I get so many, not only clients, but so many questions in my DMs asking what is the average price that you can expect to pay in Paraguay. So I just ordered some groceries. They are about to be delivered and the price of the groceries for delivery is a little bit more expensive, but I will show you what I ordered and the prices so that you can get an idea for 2024, the approximate pricing that you can expect if you're coming here to Asuncion in Paraguay. my delivery grocery shop. I will tell you the prices of everything. They didn't give me the receipt, unfortunately, but I wrote down the prices. So these are the limes that I purchased. The limes were 5,800 guarani, which is the currency they use here. They look, some of them are ripe. I don't know. I think this is an orange. I don't know what's happening with that. I also got these bananas. So these bananas were 6,500 guarini, and I was hoping to make a smoothie, but clearly this one's super cold. Clearly that won't be happening anytime soon. So hopefully they do ripen. Sometimes for some strange reason they don't. I just got one apricot and this was 7,300 guarini. So maybe a little bit expensive. It was more expensive than all of these limes, but I like apricots. I definitely would have gotten more except it is so hot outside and so i don't want to walk to the store so i just kind of order things in general i think all of this cost me 127,000, i believe somewhere around that i really wanted something mint so i got a mint chocolate bar and this was 15,000 guarini and these are really awesome i discovered this the other day i've never seen it in stores i only saw it online and it's rice and falafel balls and falafel balls in like a tomato sauce so we just put it in hot water and then heat it up and it was really, really good. So both of these were 52,000 guarini for both of them. And then I got some all natural peanut butter. I had peanut butter before and it was just full of sugar. So I got rid of it. And this is natural peanut butter. This one cost me 21,000 guarini. And then I got a pretty big water. It is five liters of water and this was 8,200 gurney. So I think all of that was around 127,000. It is definitely more than the supermarket because of delivery, but let me know in the comments. I'm super curious how this more expensive grocery shop, to be fair, compares to your grocery shopping back home. So I just went on a little walk to the mall. It was only about a 30 minute walk. To the mall and spent the afternoon there and now i'm walking back today it is not extremely hot but almost every other day i've been here has been so hot and so humid and i was looking at some property at the mall this is in san bernardino specifically and i don't know when this video is going to come out but i will either have already or will have soon a video about some property in close to Asuncion, San Bernardino area, a little bit outside. This one is actually right in. It's a new complex area that looks really, really beautiful. So I was asking some questions about it in uh, San Bernardino, but there is so much more development happening on, uh, happening around San Bernardino that it is really interesting. I got to my new Airbnb, so I'll be staying at a few different Airbnbs this time when I'm in Asuncion. And it's 
so nice, so beautiful. I did a little tour, but I it's Saturday night, so I'm now heading out to play Paddle. Paddle is all the rage here, kind of like a mix, if you haven't heard of it, a mix between tennis and badminton. And it's super popular in Latin America. There are more paddle courts here than there are tennis courts. So it's a group paddle for a few hours this evening. It's so freaking hot. I know I'm gonna die. I actually need to grab my sunscreen while I'm thinking about that. But we are going to go play some paddle and meet some other foreigners here. We just finished a paddle lesson and now we're at Casa Rica, which is one of the best <laughs> One of the best especially foreigner grocery stores. I think there's two Casa Ricas in Asuncion and I have no idea that there was a restaurant up here. So we're gonna try some food have some dinner super sweaty already, so we're sitting outside and Let's enjoy the evening we are at Casa Rica and we have a nice salmon salad. Fish is so difficult to find here. And then of course we got some quesadillas. And like how beautiful of a mall is this? I love coming here. It's a Thursday at 8 p.m. and there is almost nobody here. <laughs> So we're gonna go out for dinner at a place that I have never heard of, but it looks super cute. So we'll see what that is like. But if you come here, this is one of my, seriously my favorite malls. I've definitely spent the most time here and it's just a very vibey area. Granted, there is not too, too much going on in this area. Look at this. Little cute places to sit and have coffee, a little cafe. Um, there's not too much in this area, but like I mentioned, Paseo Galleria is right across the street, so you can walk over there in like two minutes. sunny day and I am walking downtown Paraguay. This is downtown downtown. This is the old center. Don't recommend coming to stay here quite honestly. It is a little bit sketchy so I'm trying not to take my iPhone 13 out too much but it's nice to be back here. Honestly this is the first and only time in a month that I've had to come here for a few different errands that I had to run but Definitely, this is not the area to stay in if you are here for a first time or visiting. That will be Via Mora, Ricoleta, that area. But let's head to the river. So we are at the river. I was here probably about nine months ago and now it is much hotter in the summer. This is the only shade. However, it is cooler in January, I will say, than it was in December. I've heard November, December is the hottest. But we're here on the river in the downtown. I was not super comfortable taking a new iPhone out on the street to walk here. So I only have a few clips of that, unfortunately. Even broad daylight, 1, 2 p.m., there are definitely still homeless people around and beggars, etc. So I didn't feel too comfortable to be walking around with my phone out. But now that we're here, there is really nobody here quite honestly, and it's a beautiful day. There are a few people, if you can see them, actually in the water, but for the most part, it's just a few boats on the water. 